Many North Dakotans across the state heading to the polls to have their voices heard this election day. But voting got off to a rocky start this morning at some polling locations in Burley County. In fact, eight of the 18 polling stations experienced a 20-minute delay this morning due to computer check-in issues. However, things have been running smoother in the time since. After months of debates, polling and sometimes finger-pointing, election night is underway here in North Dakota. Josh Minnie joins us now live from the Ramada Inn in Bismarck, where the NDGOP is holding its sanctioned election night watch party. Josh? That's right. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, the NDOGOP is having a statewide party. There's seven other, other cities across the state doing this right now. And I'm here with ND Republican Party Chairman Perry Schaefer. Perry, thank you for taking time out of your busy and important night to uh, speak with us. You bet. Thank you, Josh. So the first question is, what do you predict for success rate for your Republican candidates tonight? I think 100% success. I think every district, we're certainly hoping that every single one of our endorsed candidates win, and certainly at the national level and the state level as well. Now, with uh, the Rick Beckers and the Charles Tuttle, uh, cracks have begun to emerge. Uh, do you bring back the Rick Becker voters or the Charles Tuttle voters? Do you want them back into the party? Sure, if they're willing to come back into the Republican Party, we would welcome them. Rick has decided not to be a Republican for the next six years, and Charles has a large hill to climb. But we certainly welcome the voters back. There's no question about that. Now, talking 2024, we're expected to hear a big announcement from President Trump and Mario Lago, former President Trump, I should say. Uh, with that said, do you want other candidates like Ron DeSantis or Rick Scott to get in there and compete with the former president? I think the more the better. I think it's good for us, the primaries, to have many choices, many voices to listen to in the Republican Party, let the people decide who they want to move forward to the general. So yes, I would welcome that. And after tonight, what are big priorities for the North Dakota Republican Party? Settle down for tomorrow. It's going to be a long night tonight. This room is going to be packed full and with our seven other uh, cities that are doing the same thing. So take a day off tomorrow and then uh, start looking at 2023 in the legislative session. People should know there's uh, some candidates that are going to be here. Can you just quickly uh, tell us who is going to be here tonight? Sure. John Hoven will be here. Uh, he's running for Senate again, of course. And uh, Kelly Armstrong will be here. Obviously, he'll be running for Congress again is tonight. And we have six out of the eight statewide that are going to be here as well. So we welcome everyone in, as, including yourself, if you'd like to have some food. So we'll have the whole, the whole group here. All right. Well, well, KX News will be talking with some of those candidates, too, sure. later. But again, Republican Party Chair Perry Schaefer, thank you so much for your time. You bet. Thank you, Josh. All right. Brooke, back to you. And now we're going to check in with Nicholas.